You want to actually experience I'm pretty sure that every you. one of these motherfuckers playing video games in their draws. If they had Tiana at home, they wouldn't play video games either, bro. <laughs> the f*** is you playing games for? That's, that's why I didn't play games right, for the and longest, I think that's nigga. The problem. I'm playing and ball and coming home to tea. What, what video game? Oh, 2023 is snatching marriages, y'all. This was initially supposed to be a video about how Jeezy filed for divorce. And now I'm adding Tiana Taylor and Iman to the roster. Like, what are we talking about here? Let's get into it. So rapper Young Jeezy posted this photo on his Instagram with the caption, too focused on who I'm becoming to focus on who's not coming with me. Now that caption alone, it didn't ring too much bells until it came out that Jeezy actually filed for divorce. You heard me, Jeezy filed for divorce from his wife of two years, Jeannie Mai. Now I did not see this coming and I'm not even sure if I all the way believe it. Jeannie recently surprised Jeezy with a visit to her home country, Vietnam. They were up there in the mountains, child. They were bicycling together, planting, farming. They look like they were having a great time. Jeannie has been really supportive of Jeezy's book release. I mean, she was literally just on Instagram with their baby, praying to God for the success of daddy, praying to God that daddy is successful and happy and wonderful and can provide and protect. Like, I'm just really confused right now. The people on the outside looking in never really know what goes on in relationships and marriages specifically. We can only guess, we only go by what, you know, what they show us, what they allow us to see. But Jeannie does post her family and her relationship for social media content. So this is what we see. We see Jeannie being a mom now, being a wife, and, and supporting her husband. I mean, Jeannie was very adamant for 11 years in her previous marriage that she did not want children. She did not feel the urge to be a mother. She did not want to bring children into this world. But she said that with Jeezy, she felt safe. She felt that her children would be safe. And so they went on to have Monaco, and she even said that they were planning to have more children. Check this out. So I'm thinking you might want to add a sibling to the family. Are you looking at that? This is like the time. And I love being parents with Jeezy. He, he's such a good dad. And, and, you know, he has two other children, so together we're a huge family already. Yes. And he, oh my God. I mean, Jeezy look like he want another baby. I mean, he does. Well, I feel like I basically gave birth to an Asian Jeezy. Like, that, that's, <laughs> that's his face. So I am, we are open to it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Yes. I'm excited. God willing, right? Because y'all be, y'all be specific about your invitations. Can I come to the baby show <laughs> when, when, when this happens? If, if, if you bring some good food, you are invited anytime to the barbecue over at our house. Absolutely. So we, yeah, we're all about good food and good times. Jeannie seemed to be really happy with her new family. She always spoke of her husband in a high light and vice versa. They seemed to be a happy couple. But social media users did not forget that Jeannie said she likes her white meat lean or she likes her meat lean and white and she likes her dark meat on the side. Um, some people are saying that they just had a baby because they wanted a Blasian baby. But I'll be honest with you, I don't think they were in it just for the baby because if that's the case, why get married, right? I do think these people, yes, fetishized each other and fell in love with each other and something happened. Something we don't know happen. Now I did see this article on Media Takeout. I don't know how reliable this source is, child. So I'm gonna be sure to say allegedly, okay? So allegedly, Jeezy's friend talked to the blogs and said that he's divorcing Jeannie Mai because he felt suffocated by the marriage. The article says, we reached out to a person close to Jeezy who tells us that the divorce is not bitter and that there was no infidelity in the marriage. The friend told Media Takeout that the rapper felt suffocated in his relationship. And I don't know if I believe that, y'all. I mean, Jeannie Mai has been a fan of hip hop and of Jeezy before she even met him. She's very much his number one fan, okay, even before the marriage. And he knew that, he was cool with that, and he still married her. And it seemed like he enjoyed the fact that she was his number one fan and that she was always uplifting him and supporting him in a positive light. Although I'm no fan of Jeannie, I don't wish this on any woman. Okay, I am a wife. But the more I look into this situation, it looks as if Jeezy blindsided Jeannie. It looks like she had no idea that this divorce was coming. Now, every relationship has its ups and has its downs. Maybe they got into an argument, child, and he went straight to the lawyers to file for divorce. I don't know 
know how it happened. I wasn't there. But when you look at the whole picture, okay, it looks like she over there supporting her man, praying with the baby, and something so horrendous happened that he felt the only way was to divorce this woman. Preference or not, foreign or not, ugh, nobody's safe, y'all. That man told his lawyers that he wants a total divorce granted to both parties, that the parties should be awarded joint legal custody of the child. He wants the child support to be determined by the courts. He wants the prenuptial agreements enforced. The assets and debts divided. Ooh, child, this is nasty. Y'all, this man done made that woman a baby mama and she didn't even want a baby. That's a different type of, that's a different type of hell. Like you didn't even want a baby. Had a baby with a man that you trusted to have a baby with and he blindsides you and files for divorce. This is gonna get, this is gonna get real, real nasty y'all. And that's why older generations of women always advise women have children for you. <laughs> because at the end of the day, don't have children to keep a man, don't have children for a man. Have them for you, have them because you wanna be a mother, because you want a child, because at the end of the day, mama's baby, daddy's maybe, when that divorce split, yeah, they're gonna say equal rights to the kid, but that kid gonna be with you. And that baby girl look like her daddy. Okay, so that's a whole nother reminder of the man who did you wrong. Children also changed the dynamic of marriages, but that didn't seem to be a factor here as Jeannie was just telling Sherry Shepard that they were gonna have, possibly gonna have more kids, God willing. I do feel sorry for the baby and hope that they can work things out for the betterment of their daughter. Now rumors were circling the net. Um, various women have been seen hanging out and partying with Iman Shumpert. And so the tea of the town was that he was cheating on Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor took to her Instagram to say this, at, at, not too much on my bestie. In all fairness, Iman and I are separated and have been for a while. To be 1000% clear, infidelity ain't one of the reasons for our departure. We are still the best of friends, great business partners, and are one hell of a team when it comes to co-parenting our two beautiful children. Most importantly, we are family. And in the 10 years together, seven years married, we ain't ever played with or about that. We just keep y'all asses out of the group chat, which is the reason we've been able to successfully and peacefully separate without all of the outside noise. The only reason I'm even sharing this part of the chat is because the narratives are getting a little out of hand and it's unfair to all parties involved. I hope this provided some clarity for y'all. Okay, auntie, taking y'all back out the group chat. Bye. <laughs> Fix it. Fix it. Oh my God. I was not expecting this, y'all. Now, I have a friend right who told me that iman and tiana were separated and i was like girl they ain't separated he over there doing that show and she working on making the new rap girl he's better so they're working they're busy they're not separated and she was like mm, okay and so she sent me this and was like girl i told you they were separated and honestly i'm shook <laughs> i was actually speechless mercury retrograde is that you now, one thing I don't get is when people separate, but they still say things like, this person is my best friend. We're still the greater friends. We love each other. We still have great times together. And I'm, I'm just like, so why not fix it? But you know, at the end of the day, whatever is a happy and healthy situation for them, I mean, have at it. These two have had an open marriage. He's been sleeping with other women. Allegedly, she's been sleeping with other women. But they say that open marriages are fun until it's not. But she did say that infidelity wasn't a part of the reason for divorce. And I think a lot of times when we think of marriage and we think of divorce, we think, okay, somebody must have cheated. But as someone who is married, I, I'm considered a newlywed. I've been married for one year now, anniversary coming up. Woo -woo. But as someone who is married, yeah, I can absolutely see how cheating is not the only factor, okay? <laughs> When you're married, there's so much more expected of you. When you're married, everything is tested. Like your patience is tested, your kindness is tested, your prayer life is tested. Then you throw children into that. Some people have financial issues, which obviously these two couples did not, but there's so many more factors to marriage or unhappy marriage that has nothing to do with infidelity. Sometimes distance makes the heart grow fonder. I don't think they're gonna actually go through with the divorce. I think they probably just needed a little space and that's human nature everybody needs space from somebody at one point in another but y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comment section were y'all surprised by these separation or divorce announcements 
Do you think Jeezy filed for divorce because Jeannie was smothering him? Do you think they were both just fetishizing each other and wanted Blasian kids? I mean, they could have did that without the marriage, so I don't know if it's that. Wishing all of these couples well. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one. Later.